guys, so today I have a haul for you and I have a bunch of beauty products and skincare, body care, kind of just a bunch of different things. And I haven't opened any, well I've opened one thing for my skincare video, but um, I've been waiting to use all these products so I'm like ready to film this video so I can actually open them. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get started. So I'm going to just grab stuff out of here. Actually, you know what I'm going to start with first is these Real Technique brushes. So um, if you guys have heard of Clout, they give you like a randomly, they'll send me things for free. Um, like depending on your tweets, I don't know. It's, it's a strange thing. So anyways, I was really shocked. I mean, they've sent me things like a $5 coupon to... McDonald's. They recently sent me these Real Technique brushes and I was so excited because I've always wanted to try these. I always see them at Ulta but for some reason I've never grabbed them and so I wanted to like quickly tell you what I thought about them because some of them I don't like and some I do. So the blush brush, I do really like this but I like my Sigma one a lot better. I feel like this is almost too big to use, you don't have like as much control. I kind of see this more as like a bronzing brush. The three face brushes that they give you a contour, which I really like. This is totally similar to the Sigma Kashuk one from Target, which I have, so these are kind of the same. This is, um, I don't know what this, oh, pointed foundation brush. I don't use this for a foundation. I use this for just setting my concealer under my eyes and I really like it for that. And then the other one is the buffing brush, which is really similar to the Sephora mineral brush, I think it's called. For the eye brushes, this one is really nice for, I actually use this for blending out concealer. The base shadow brush, I've used it, but I just like my Sigma one better. I don't like how these are really stubby. I like having a longer handle on there. And then this one I feel like is pointless. It's like a eyeliner brush but it's too, it's way too thick and you don't have much control over it. And then the last one is the brow brush, which I think is too thick as well because my eyebrows are pretty small, so this is just too thick. So I wasn't a fan of the eye brushes, but I do like the face brushes, so there's that. So first I have a sunscreen and I have been wanting to try this sunscreen. My mom has it and I tried it when I was home one day and loved it. So it is the DeVita Natural Skin Care and it's called Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30 and it's paraben free, 100% vegan and it just blends in so nicely to your skin. I think it's clear, I believe, oh it's sealed. I'm pretty sure it's clear and it just feels like you're putting on a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen at all. It also has hyaluronic acid in here Gluten sensitive, safe, organic, no GMOs, no nano testing, full broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. Then I got a full size of my cleanser. So you know I've been using the deluxe size sample from Anlu Naturals of their Meyer Lemon Creamy Cleanser. And I loved it so much that I had to get the full size. So this is what it looks like. If you saw my skincare routine, I mentioned this. And it's just an amazing... Uh, cleanser. This is turning into a review video, not a haul. Then I got some more of my Bloom Naturals. This is the Pro Age one, so they have grapeseed extract in here, which is supposed to help with anti-aging, but I do really like these. There was one that I really liked, and I can't remember which one it was, because some I don't like, so um, we will see about that. I got a couple natural lipsticks, which I've been wanting to try out. So the first one is by Benicos, and I love, I have a Benicos lipstick that I absolutely love. So this one is in purple, and this is what it looks like. I haven't swatched any of these yet, but oh my gosh, how pretty is that? It's kind of, ooh, it's really moisturizing, almost like a sheer, sheer lip gloss, or lipstick. So pretty. The next one is by Eco Bella, and it's in the shade Tuscany Rose. So this is what this guy looks like. Really pretty. I like the packaging. I think it's really like sleek and nice. Kind of looks like NARS. Um, so Tuscany Rose is like a. It looks like a burnt. It's more of a. It's not matte, but it's has more like deep um, mauve undertones to it. So that one's really pretty, really moisturizing as well. I mean, just like, 
has kind of a sheen to it. This is in Napa Grape Frost by Eco Bella. So this one is, ooh, I like this. It's like a light purple color, kind of nude. Definitely a color that I grew, oh my gosh, this looks just like blankety. Um, if you have Blankety by MAC, this looks so close to it, which is my all-time favorite. This is gorgeous. If you like nudes with a little bit of a pink undertone, this is so pretty. I'm super excited for these. A couple of these things I got at an event I went to recently in LA. So I have two of the NYX Love in Florence eyeshadow palettes, and I think these are really pretty. So this one is called Trist by the Trevi and it has a lot of there's like a matte black um, a gray and then like a champagne color and then you get a frosty white and then a glittery black so they're really pretty there goes the brush this one is called XOXO Mona and this is all really pretty purples so um, again, there's like one matte, or actually they might all be kind of shimmery, then there's a couple with like glitter. And then I got a couple things by Julie Hewitt, which was at, they were at the event. So they gave me, this is called Cheeky, and this is a cheek and lip stain in the shade Peachy, which is a really pretty peach color. And she used this on my cheeks when I was there. It was, it was pretty fun. So it's like a really sheer... Um, peach color, which would be really pretty on the, on the cheeks. I think, yeah, and cheek and lip. And this is paraben free, which is very nice. And then it comes with a very kind of stubby brush to apply that with. And then they also had a lipstick in their little gift thing. And paraben free as well, and it's in the shade Rouge Noir. Look how pretty this is. I love it. I think it's so gorgeous. This is a deep, deep red color. So this is more of a matte. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. And I think this brand, um, I know Scarlett Johansson uses it and a couple other celebrities use it. I hadn't really heard of it much, but um, all the products seemed super nice. And then these two lipsticks came with those eyeshadows by NYX. So this one is matte, uh, what's the shade? Merlot. And it's like this really nice berry. I have a lot of lipsticks right now, don't I? So let's put this right here. Really, really pretty. I have no colors like that. I just, I realize like all of my lipsticks are baby pinks and they're all the same. Wow, and this one's really bright. This is in shocking pink and that is definitely pretty shocking. Um, probably won't get any, be getting much use out of this, but it's really pretty. Maybe for a couple videos for you guys. Alrighty, some nail polishes. So the first one is this I, I wanted a couple more natural nail polishes because those are, you know, they're not the best, obviously. Um, one little tip, I know a lot of people put their nail polishes like all on a rack for display. And I used to have mine open in a box. Uh, and then I changed it into like this two-tiered nail polish thing that I got at Target. I saw it off of um, Makeup by Tiffany D. And every time I open it now, you get like this rush of chemicals, you know, like the smell of nail polish. So just kind of shows how if you have it all exposed, if your nail polishes are just out all the time, that you're constantly kind of breathing in that all of, you know, the scent, which is not, I don't think that's very good. So um, try to keep them away and like tucked in to something in a box or something. So anyways, so this one is the Sunco Polish and Peel Water-Based Nail Polish. So I'm wondering if this if you just peel it off when you're done, which is actually, I really like that. So it's a really gorgeous, like bright blue, um, kind of summery, but I don't really care. I just, I don't have a color like this. Then I have the Barrielle shades, a couple from them. This one is called Out of Gray Gorgeous, which is a, just a silvery gray color. And then there is the same brand in Berry Blue, which is a really deep blue with almost like a little bit of purple in it but really pretty for fall and winter and then I also got the Berry Barrial Cosmic Kiss which I thought this was going to be kind of prettier I don't know it's just like a plain pink nothing very exciting to me 
Then I got a nail polish remover. So this is by Sunco. It's all natural. It's a nail polish remover gel. I'm not really sure how this works yet. We will see, but this is what it looks like. Then I got another one of my Jason body lotions. This is the 70% aloe vera. It's a hand and body lotion. And I have the smaller size, but me and Andrew used it up pretty fast. And he really likes this too because there's not really a scent to it. So it's a good kind of gender neutral body lotion. But it's just, it works. It's super moisturizing and I really like it. Next I got this buffing brush. It's called Bernard Jensen Products. It's from Solana Beach, which I like because it's kind of local. Um, it's a natural bristle body brush. So you put this on top and it's... You guys have probably heard of dry brushing where you just use this all over your body. Just kind of rub in circular motions before you shower. And it's supposed to help just improve the circulation in your skin. And it's just like a really good exfoliant. Then I got a bronzer brush by Lorenum. And I was super impressed with their other brushes, so I wanted to give a couple more a shot. So let's see. Oh, this is smaller than I thought. I wanted something that I could use as a powder brush, but... It's super nice and soft. So here is the Natural Kajal Benicose Eyeliner in black. And you guys know I got this in blue and I love it. So it's just a black eyeliner. Nothing very exciting about it, but it works really nice. Uh, it's super creamy. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. I got two oils, some essential oils. So I got frankincense. What did I get frankincense for? Oh, for my milia. Somebody told me to use frankincense oil under my eyes. And then I also got peppermint, which is just, you know, 100% pure peppermint oil. And I got this for if ever I have cramps or my stomach hurts, I always put peppermint oil on my stomach just because I feel like I've taken so many Advil and ibuprofen um, over the years. I'm trying to limit my, you know, medicine intake. So got some of that. And then the last thing is the Andalou Naturals Probiotic and C Renewal Cream and from their brightening line and this I really love. I got a couple of their samples and I like this as a night cream. So it smells like citrusy, kind of like an orange cream. Really good, but look how nice that is. It's just like the best texture. It feels just amazing on your skin um, and it really is supposed to help lighten up your dark spots and it just has the best reviews online. So highly suggest this cream. So that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this little haul and I will see you all next time. Bye!